I want to show you how you can configure a Google Tag Manager container when you use Pixel Your Site. Pixel Your Site now has support for Google Tag Manager, which is a big thing. Before that, we were a competitor of Google Tag Manager. We have our native integration for Facebook, Meta, uh, Google Analytics, Google Ads, Pinterest, TikTok, Bing. I think that's it. Uh, but now we also have support for Google Tag Manager. And we have a feature that uh, will help you easily configure your container so that it tracks all our events, all our parameters, all that we track and send in the data layer. Uh, I mean this one right here. Pixel your site. This is the Google Tag Manager section. And we have here uh, a download link download the file. This is the very first version uh, we plan to expand. This uh, import file will create variables that track all our events, triggers that capture all our events, and in this version, version 1.0.1.0, 1 .0, 1 .0, uh, Google Analytics tags for our events, basically e-commerce for uh, e-commerce and um, easy digital downloads, uh, all our custom uh, events, so events that you configure inside the plugin, and all our automatic events, events that we fire automatically tracking actions like downloads or video views or um, clicks on forms, everything that we track automatically. So I have the file on my computer. What I need to do next, go to admin, import container, choose the file. If you already have data in the container, which I don't recommend, it's best to start with a new container if you want to uh, start using Pixel Your Site, overwrite. If you already have data, overwrite. And then up to Add to Workplace. And now submit, publish. Okay, what do we have now? We have a lot of variables all these variables help um, your container to detect our data, all our parameters, including uh, variables that detect dynamically parameters from manually configured events. Um, but what you must do if you want to track Google Analytics with this container, you need to edit this variable GA4ID because we send um, a dummy data here. So uh, here you need to add your actual ID, go inside Google Analytics, uh, admin, data stream, copy the measurement ID and uh, add it here, save, and you need to uh, submit and publish again. Now this container is ready, it will track all the data from Pixel Your Site and it will send the data to Google Analytics. If you want to add more tags, you can do it, but if you want add us to add more tags inside the import file, let me know. Tell me which one uh, would you like to see next and uh, we will work and add them in time. Uh, maybe you want um, Twitter or X, maybe you want Snapchat, maybe you want LinkedIn, maybe you want Active Campaign. Let me know comment below and uh, tell me which tag would you like us to uh, implement in our import export file. Uh, let's move on and see what else the, um, this container does now. Uh, you saw the variables. We already edited the variable for GA4. These are the triggers. The names are ex explanatory. Uh, this one will detect advanced marketing events. These events are on the WooCommerce page here, advanced marketing events, you can enable them and these events will go to the native tags and now in the data layer and from the data layer to the tags implemented through Google Tag Manager, in our case, GA4. Um, this one, automatic events, meaning all the events that the plugin fires automatically tracking key actions, you can control them here and send them in the data layer. If they are uh, enabled for the data layer, we will detect and send data. 
Uh, this one, e-commerce events, so all the e-commerce events with Fire for WooCommerce and easy digital download, meaning purchases, add to cards, view item, everything. And manual events, events that you configure here. Keep in mind that we have various triggers that, I qua that are quite useful. Sometimes it's easier to configure the event here instead of Google Tag Manager. Um, and uh, you can use our triggers, for example, to capture uh, form submit. So successful for submission for a number of plugins that we have integrations with, like, I don't know, Contact Form 7, Forminator, a lot. There are quite a lot, I think seven or eight plugins already supported. Uh, we also track a lot of user data and we send such data uh, with uh, our tag. So it's, it's pretty useful and the container will do the task for you, the job for you. So once you have it, the next thing you need to do is to add the container ID copy inside the uh, Pixel Your Site settings right here. I already have one. I have to replace it. This is this is the correct one. Uh, I used an older ID. Save. And now we can test. We can uh, open Tag Assistant. We can browse the website and see how the data is tracked. Important. This is constant magic and the constant magic informs me about tracking, asks me if I want to be tracked or not, and it will send um, Google tag, uh, Google constant mode correctly, meaning something like this. Let me show you what I want to. Okay, consent default was denied, everything was blocked because I, I'm, I'm visiting the website from a GDPR country, so I have to give my permission before um, Google can track me. And then at some point, consent was updated and now is granted. So after I said, yes, okay, track me, I don't have anything against it, uh, consent was granted. Uh, back to our events, for example, this was a click, the click that I made on the consent, I think, yes, allow all. And it was uh, in the data layer with uh, various um, event uh, parameters tracked. And this is the event sent to a GA4. So Google Analytics will get his data, will uh, know a lot of stuff about my click um, and so on. If um, we go shopping on the website and we buy something nice like um, a belt, for example, we will have e-commerce related events sent um, with all the data, let's do an auto card. Like this. Okay. So because GA4, it's in the import export file that we have inside the plugin. It's easy to configure. If you want to add another tag, you can do it. Like you can do it for anything inside Google Tag Manager any tags, uh, but if you want us to do it and to integrate such tags inside our import export file, again, let me know, comment below, and uh, I promise you we will try our best to, to do it. The plan is to add many, many tags to make it easier for our users to uh, use Google Tag Manager. Important, don't use the same ID with our native integ in integration and with Google Tag Manager. So if you have, I don't know, Meta, here, don't install Meta with Google Tag Manager, or at least don't install the same uh, Meta Pixel ID. Google Analytics, don't install it here and here. Okay, maybe you can install it here, one ID and here one ID. I don't see the point of doing so, but you can try. Um, my recommendation is to keep the, if you already use these integrations, keep them. They are quite useful. There are some features that we cannot replicate with Google Tag Manager. But if you want to expand and install other tags and track the same kind of data that we do for our native tags, now you can do it using, using uh, GTM or integration with GTM. And uh, configuring the tag should be easy with this export import file. Uh, that's it. I hope you like this video. Again, let me know which tag would you like to see next in our import and export file. And uh, thank you for watching. Share this video. 
like this video and subscribe to our channel. I'm Christian Stoichesko from Pixel Your Site. See you next time.